Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. And um, I got to admit, I'm still struggling with this time change for us. Last night, I did a late night vlog. And I usually go to sleep at like 11.30 or 12. But since we moved forward an hour, I went to sleep at like uh, 2 in the morning or something. But yeah, it's I'm still trying to adjust to this time. So I forgot to ask yesterday, did everybody get their stimulus check? I know I didn't. My account is still, you know, sleeping. I'm like, okay, all my friends and some co-workers, they got their stimulus check and I'm still waiting. The sun's in my way, so y'all can't see my face, but that's all right, as long as you can hear me. <clears throat> so I did do a late night vlog last night. I had a little, try to do some little fun games. So if you didn't check it out last night, go ahead and check it out this morning and put your answers in the comments below. Um, our K-pop song today, guys, is from a drama that I watch called About Time and the song is called Maybe and the singer is H-U-I Huey. Um, the song I really like because um, it has a nice, it's another slow song I guess this week. I'm just feeling like it's slow song week and it was from the drama About Time and I watched it because my girl um, from, she is the one that came on weightlifting, Kim Bok Chu. And I totally forgot her Korean name, but uh, she's on there. And so I watched it because if I like an actor or an actress, I'll follow them and I'll, I'll see what other uh, K-dramas they're in. So I watched it because of her, but I ended up um, liking uh, the guy that, that played in that drama with her. So if um, you want to take a little peek at it, that it's a nice drama. I mean, if you're into like slow uh, romance, it's, it's about... Um, a girl and a guy and the, and the man and the girl she can see the people's um, time clock how much time they have left to live even if they're young they have like maybe it'll say 27 and that means 27 days left in their lives like they're gonna get into an accident so pretty much um, it was a gift handed down from her grandmother I guess to her and she didn't like that gift she didn't want to know when people died I mean who does you know so she meets this man and he um, she sees his time and stuff and then she's like she wants to spend time with him because he he's gonna die soon so she becomes his driver and I don't want to tell you about the whole drama because it'll take forever but um, in the end they do end up together but they had to go through a lot just to continue to be together and I really like the actor that I totally forgot his name <laughs> but I'm gonna put it in the comments um, he was an older gentleman and she was a younger girl and when he smiles he just Oh my gosh, he's so cute when he smiles. And I want to say he's like around my age, you know, like in the 30s. <laughs> um, but his acting was really nice and I like that he didn't give up on her. She gave up on him. But anyways, uh, the drama was really cute. It's called About Time. But our K-pop song for today is Maybe by H.U.I. And our BTS song for today is Outro, colon, Propose. P-R-O-P-O-S-E. And this is from their album, uh, School Love Affair. I really like this song. It, like, it's catchy. It's a little quick. It has a nice upbeat. So this song really, um, and the chorus is in English. So this song really caught my attention. So remember what I said. I'm not going to share anything that I don't like with you guys. So this is a new song for me as well. But it really caught my attention. So I hope you guys put this on your playlist. And um, I wanted to share something quick um, about my brother. You know, I did a previous log about his son, um, one of his sons ordering his ribeye steak, talking about fresh. I want it fresh because that's all their dad's orders. That's all they hear when he goes to McDonald's. So last night he came home late and, um, and I was watching TV. And he's like, oh, I, I got some um, fresh nuggets. And I just started laughing. And he goes, what's wrong? And I go, oh, nothing. You know, the fresh thing. How fresh is it? He goes, oh, it's fresh. It's still hot. It's going to be the bomb. You want some? And I was like, no. But I'm laughing because he doesn't even know that I did a log about him and his kids about fresh. So that was funny. And another thing about him. When we were young growing up, we live in, you know, in Long Dizzle and the ice cream truck, you know, when the ice cream truck comes around the neighborhood, then you have to go outside and say, stop, stop. So this fool, he went outside. He stopped the ice cream truck and he had no money. So he said, stop, stop the ice cream truck, stop. He went inside, asked my aunt for some money. And my aunt was like, 
um, selling him in Samoa. Alu yeah yeah, fa fo fa le le kama alu alu. Ilengi okupe, ilengi okupe, and he was telling my aunt. Don't you have money? Don't you have money? And she's like, no. He's like, what about your card? Can we use your card? And she's like, no. Go outside. And Samoan, she was saying, go outside and tell that poor ice cream man to go. Before I sasa you, you know, before I kill you, before I hit you. And so he runs outside and he tells the man, go, amigo, go, go. And he didn't really know Spanish, you know. And he's like, Bananos, go, go, andale, andale. So he came back in the house and I was in the room. I didn't say anything, but I wanted to say, Wamala Modi. <laughs> so um, he like, he totally like does his own thing. He doesn't care if he has money. He'll just go and run and ask anybody. And also in our neighborhood, like we were searching and searching for him. I think he was like six or seven. We're like, where's the boy? Where is he? Cause he's the youngest. You guys better go find the boy. Where did he go? We went outside looking for him in the neighborhood. He got like five dogs on five different leashes. He's over there walking the neighborhood people's dog for a dollar each. I mean, he was like, he's a hustler. So we're like, whose dogs are those? He goes, it's the lady down the street and then the lady across the street and the other lady. And I'm thinking, what kind of ladies are going to entrust this little boy with their dogs to walk the dog? And what makes them think he's going to bring the dogs back in um, good condition? So I was cracking up this boy. He had us on our toes when we were growing up. So not only did he try to be uh, slick and stop the ice cream truck, he tried to go over there and make a quick buck and walk the neighborhood dogs. So it was too funny. And now what does he do? He's still a hustler. But I just wanted to share those stories because those stories had me cracking up when we were growing up. So what happens now? He's like in his 30s, got seven kids. And you know what his favorite food is, his dessert? ice cream he be buying all kind of ice cream for those kids so i just wanted to share that because i thought it was really fun <laughs> funny um so today is um tuesday everybody have a good day i hope that um if you didn't get to check out the vlog last night go ahead and check it out you might get a chuckle you know me if we don't chuckle you know it ain't me so have a good day. Thanks again, everybody. Put your answers in the comments below. And then again, if you have anything you want me to uh, to do or to find out, let me know. I'm also going to put in the comments the name of the actor that I told you about. It is now 810 and I'm still sitting in my car trying to finish my vlog. I really need to step up my game and come to, um, to work on time. I'm being a bad example to all of you, my viewers. But you know how do we end? I got to go.